And here we are, back to Mr. Orr's flip class and for grammar, looking at object pronouns. Object pronouns are going to be used as a direct object, indirect object, or as an object of a preposition. If you're still a little bit confused about when to use direct objects, indirect objects, or just how to tell them apart, this isn't the lesson where you need to worry about that. All you need to know is whether or not it's used as an object in a sentence at all. So object pronouns examples are me, us, you, him, her, it, them. A direct object, again, to be clear, directly receives the action of an action verb, such as through what? I mean, through the ball. Indirect object indirectly receives that action, such as through the ball to whom? Well, to you. So I threw you the ball. Object of a preposition just completes the phrase which begins with the preposition, such as in, out, from, to. In my house, out of the car, from you, to him. How do we find it? Well, we find the verb in a subject. In this case, we want to just see whether the verb is action or linking. Still find all the pronouns and determine whether they should be subject pronouns or object pronouns. Last lesson talked about how to find subject pronouns. Verify the object form by determining if the pronoun is a direct object, indirect object, or object of preposition. How do we do this? Well, if the pronoun comes directly after an action verb, most likely we don't have to worry about whether it's direct or indirect. We just need to know that it's an object of an action verb. Or if anywhere in the sentence it follows a preposition, then it's going to be the object of the preposition. Remember, the only other options for a pronoun here, if you're looking at either subject or object, is it's either going to be one of these three possibilities, direct, indirect, or object preposition, or it's going to be the subject or following a linking verb. And at that, we've pretty much gone through all the possibilities, as long as we're not looking at a possessive. Watching movies gives me a headache. In this sentence, we have headache noun, gives action verb, as an article kind of describing that. Movies is a noun, and watching, well, technically it's, it's like a verb, but in this case, watching movies is actually an idea. In any case, the pronoun here is me. So the pronoun's me. So we, it's an object form, but the question is why? Well, the verb is gives. Gives is an action verb, and gives what? A headache. Headache is the direct object, okay? But gives a headache to whom? It gives a headache to me. Therefore, me is the indirect object. Another practice, I need someone to watch over me. In this case, we have I as a subject pronoun to start with. Action verb needs someone. That's going to be the indirect object. I need what? To watch, infinitive verb, over preposition, because it shows position or relationship, over me. So, it says that me follows the preposition over, then it's the object of a preposition, and we're done. So for this one, go ahead and make sure that it comes after an action verb or comes after a preposition. Good hunting.